Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to today's art activity. Your optional daily drawing prompt of the morning is to invent a new kind of candy and design the wrapper. So maybe you wanna design a new chocolate bar, a new gummy bear, or a sour gummy worm. You're gonna design your candy, think about what it's gonna taste like, what it's gonna look like, and then you're going to create your own wrapper or packaging for it. So, um, that yeah, you can really get creative with this and think about what kind of unique flavors and colors you want your candy to be. I think these will turn out really cool. So if you're interested in doing that, go ahead and set your timer for five minutes and you can get started. If you are already finished with your daily drawing for today or you are going to skip it for um, today, we are going to get started. We're gonna be doing a directed drawing. We are gonna be drawing exploding beakers. So a beaker is something that scientists use in an experiment. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a paper, some kind of colors. I'm using markers today, but you could use crayons, oil pastels, paints, whatever you want. We're gonna start off by putting our paper in front of us tall ways. And what we're going to need to do is we're actually going to need to start off by folding it. So we are going to kind of divide it into three different sections. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper, you're gonna look like you're folding it in half to start, but you're gonna then turn your paper around and you're gonna kind of want it to make it look even on either side. I am sorry, my dog is crying and I need to see what's going on with her. I will be right back in one second. Sorry, somehow my dog got stuck under the couch. Anyways, sorry for that little distraction. So like I said, you're gonna take your paper, you're gonna look like you're folding it in half, but you're really gonna turn it back around. And so then you're gonna have about, it's not gonna be perfect, but about an equal size on the top and on the bottom so that it can open up like this. But you want it to look like even on either side, if that makes sense. But as you can see, this side is a little bit smaller than this side. It doesn't have to be perfect. So at this point, you're gonna have it in front of you and it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be wide ways. And what we're gonna do to start off is we are going to draw the outline of our beakers. So our beakers all start with kind of like a little circle. where the top part is. So we're gonna have three beakers. We're gonna do three little circles. And remember, if I am moving too quickly, go ahead and pause the video. It's totally fine. Catch up, do what you need to do, and then replay the video. Then we're gonna start with doing another circle. So we're pretty much just outlining this circle at the top, except for I'm not closing it all the way. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap. But we're doing another circle. I guess this is more like an oval than a circle. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two parallel straight lines down. This is the neck of our beaker. And then beakers have different shapes. We're gonna have our one in the middle be in, our, in the foreground, which means it's gonna be in front of the other beakers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a circle with kind of a flat bottom. This one, we're gonna have it go down to the sides a little bit. And this one, it's gonna go like that. You don't have to do them exactly like me. You can kind of do whatever shape you want for your beaker. And what we're gonna do next is we are going to add the little circle that is gonna show where our liquid in our beaker is. So again, well actually it's more like an oval. That's where our liquid of our beaker is gonna be. So we're adding that oval to all of our beakers. Then we're just gonna add some lines for detail. So 
and our beakers are bubbling with our science experiment inside it. That's why I said they're gonna be exploding beakers. You'll see that part next. So we're gonna add some bubbles in our bubbling beakers. I'm, for my bubbles, I'm just drawing little circles with a little highlight line in them. Then I'm going to draw some little stars by just drawing lines kind of going around in a circle to show what's going on with our beakers, that they're having a chemical reaction. Then we're gonna go ahead and color in our beakers. You can choose whatever color you want them to be. I'm just gonna choose a different color for each of my beakers. If you're using crayons, this could be a nice time to practice your shading by making some of the places darker than others and some lighter. Like this side would probably be a little darker, so I'm just going to go over it again with my marker. I have another one be blue. Again, if I'm going too quickly, don't be afraid to pause the video and catch up. I think I'm gonna have my last one be a green experiment. Make sure you're going around those bubbles. There we go. We got our uh, experiment going and now it's time for the explosion part in the middle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper and you're going to pull it apart. And in between where the beaker, um, both the beaker, you can see that there's a gap right here. There's the part where the bottom is and the top is. And in that space is where we are going to be drawing our explosion for our exploding beakers. So we're going to make big clouds of our explosion. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to make sure we don't want to cross this imaginary line here and then where the fold is right there. We don't want to cross that because then it'll look cool and we unfold it and it reveals the explosion. And I'm gonna draw some shapes in here. I'm gonna draw some triangles to represent our explosion. So we have some clouds and some triangles, and then we're gonna do some lines also to represent the craziness that is going on. And now it's just time to color it in. So we can color in our explosion clouds, whatever color that we want. Since I used cool colors, um, green, purple, and blue for my beakers, I'm gonna use some warm colors for the explosive part. Then our third warm color is orange. You 
can just color in your lines and your shapes however you'd like. It's totally up to you how you make your exploding beakers look. You can add more detail to it. You can add whatever you'd like. So the cool thing is that when you are finished with this, you can fold it back up how we had it before. And we have our little beakers with our experiments going. And then, bam, it is exploded. I think that's so fun when you get to pull it apart. So we, again, we have our little um, beakers of our experiments bubbling and brewing and explosion time. I hope you guys had um, a fun time doing this drawing. I know I did. I look forward to seeing your versions of our exploding beakers. I will see you tomorrow for Friday's lesson. I hope you have a great rest of your day.